In your morning news now, the search for what caused a large structure fire in Caledonia on Saturday continues this morning. Damage assessments are currently underway at the Mikan Sports Facility that collapsed in the fire. A spokesperson for Rawlings, the Mikan Sports parent company, says no employees were hurt in the fire. The company is currently working with the fire department and state fire marshal's office to assess the damage and determine their next steps. Six days after an unexpected outage rocked a lacrosse-based retail giant Quick Trip, the company says the majority of its systems are back online. While Quick Trip has not said what led to the outage, large companies like Quick Trip are favorites for hackers because of the high number of customers they draw. Now, the company maintains no customer data was compromised during the outage, which is good news for consumers because cybersecurity experts say that data is exactly what hackers are looking for. Social security number information, credit card numbers themselves, and just the, the personal information, location, uh, demographics, all that stuff is black market, high value merchandise these days. In a statement sent to News 8 Now, Quick Trip says while they are still experiencing an outage to their Quick Rewards program, their retail and customer facing systems were not impacted and their payment card processing system remains secure and unaffected. They hope to have the problem resolved soon. The plan on how to begin phase two of the Prairie Springs Science Center at UW La Crosse was discussed this week. The first phase of this project was approved back in 2018 by Governor Scott Walker. Since then, the continuation of the Science Center has been rejected three times. The luncheon was attended by several prominent area businesses and facilities, including Mayo Clinic. Now, with a goal in mind, the push for approval can begin again. Uh, still a long road ahead of uh, lots of advocacy, um, talking with various legislatures, um, but certainly a very strong sense of community and support that we want to see this be successful. Tom Still, president of the Wisconsin Technology Council, believes the biggest help would come from the people and facilities of La Crosse, talking to the lawmakers that have the pull to approve this decision about the Science Center project. The Mayo Clinic Health System in Mondovi will be hosting a mammography screening today. According to the American Cancer Society, a mammogram uses a low dosage of x-rays to detect changes in breast tissue and may help find breast cancer early. Screenings will be held at their mobile mammography unit from 9.30 this morning till 3.30 this afternoon. Mayo Clinic also says that anyone who is interested can make an appointment by calling the number on your screen. The professional dairy producers will be hosting a calf care connection workshop at the Chippewa Valley Tech College Energy Education Center in Eau Claire today. The event will feature three breakout sessions focused on calf growth and care. After the sessions, there will be tours of Triple T Farms and Soulhawk Dairy. The sessions will run from 9 this morning till 4.30 this afternoon. And as you head out the door this morning, temperatures are into the upper 40s under a cloudy sky. Slight chance of a shower possible. Also bear in mind, too, that we do have some patchy fog out there as well. So just be aware of that here on your morning commute. Looking at some more scattered showers, though, as a possibility as we head into this afternoon. High temperatures nearing the low 60s today. Heading into your eight-day forecast, we're looking at highs into the mid-60s for tomorrow. So slightly milder, the slight chance of a shower, otherwise partly cloudy conditions. As we head into this weekend as well into early next week on Monday, our next best chance of rain probably coming around Tuesday highs 50s and 60s and our lows mainly in the 40s. All right, looking pretty nice out there. It was foggy driving in this morning. It was. I noticed as soon as I approached downtown, yeah. that's when that visibility just dropped like a rock. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, so be careful out there this <laughs> yeah, morning. Definitely. Yeah, definitely drive slow, low beam lights on. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, Alexander, how do you feel? First show under the belt. <laughs> great, yeah, great. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, yeah, we're so excited to have you. Welcome aboard again. Yes, thank Any you fun so facts much. that viewers should know before we close? Well, we were talking about cats. Yeah. This seems like a very cat-friendly workplace, <laughs> yes. and I am a cat mom, as well as a real mom. I have a <laughs> uh, son who's turning one tomorrow. So, That's so happy adorable. Two fun facts. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We'll have to shout out. We'll have to add a not a Right, yeah. 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 It's a special yeah. occasion. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you, and we will of see course. you guys back here tomorrow. Definitely. Yes, we'll see you back here later today at noon. Have a wonderful Thursday.